I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice question for you. We will give you a pattern rule in terms of words and you need to write it in terms of an algebraic expression. Right? Remember algebraic expressions should have a variable. Question is, represent the following pattern rule as an algebraic expression. Start with 3 green and 2 red squares and add 2 red squares each time. So let's first catch our patterns. We are starting with three greens. So let us say these are three green squares. Okay, so these are start with three green squares and two red. So let me make two red squares. So let us say these are my two red squares. So two red squares and three green squares. The next time what do you do? Add two red squares each time. So this is first pattern. In the next pattern we'll have original value which is 3 green 2 red and we are going to add these two once again right so that is what is changing right so the thing which changes is represented by a variable let us call that variable as n right so n so n could be 1 2 3 and so on so n is 1 here, n is 1 here and 2 there. Let's see in the third position how we can sketch this situation. So here we again have 3 green as in the previous case, 4 reds. Let me copy that part first. Okay, imagine these are all squares, 4 reds. And we add 2 each time. So this time again we add 2 more. So that is the kind of pattern which we are having. Now the question here is, write this as an algebraic expression. So you need to provide a pattern rule. So we call that a pattern rule. Okay, pattern rule. So in this pattern rule, I am using variable n for things which are changing. So that is a variable since we have a variable it is called an algebraic expression so variable is something which changes do you see that so the value is changing from 1 to 2 to 3 and we need to write down the number of blocks so pattern rule will give us the number of blocks right the square blocks in this case so we have three fixed green blocks we say three for that and the red blocks how are they related with the number so it is two times one 2 times 2, 2 times 3, correct? So we say 2n. Do you see the 2 times n? n is the number here. So if I write 3 plus 2n, I know exactly how many blocks I have. For example, in the case of the very first one, if n is 1, I get what? I get 3 plus 2 times 1, which is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the second case, it is 3 plus 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. Correct? They are 7. 3 plus 4. In this case, it is 3 plus 2 times 3. Right? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Do you see that? So, this expression represents the number of blocks in each pattern. And therefore, we can say that it represents the given statement. I hope that helps, correct? So that is how you should be writing algebraic expressions from the given description. Look at it carefully. At times, I could give you algebraic expression or the figure and you may have to describe it. So that is how you should be describing. So, so both, or rather the three things shown here, go hand in hand. So go through it once again, try to understand all these three things and move forward to the next question. Thank you and all the best.